What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today, I want to talk about Bitcoin and why is it not going back up? What is going on, Bitcoin? Are you seeing someone else? Is there something you need to tell me? Are you breaking up with me? Not by a text. You did not just... You broke up with me by text, Bitcoin. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How dare you? You can't even break up to me in person? You ghost me? You take half of my money? And you leave? You think I'm gonna take you back, don't you? Well, guess what? I am. I love you, Bitcoin. I miss you. Come home. Come back to 65,000. That's where you belong. I'm serious, please. You have to come home. I can't live without you. I need you at 65,000. Without you, I am but a humble YouTuber. With you, I'm a rich YouTuber. <laughs> Go to a million dollars. Make Papa proud. <laughs> Make Papa, Papa Doge proud. Papa Elon. And you know what? I just wanted to point out, remember when I told you that all of the big crypto YouTubers that were, you know, boycotting Elon Musk and saying they won't even say his name ever again and for everybody to boycott him, guess what? They're talking about him again. Guess what? They're saying his name again. Guess what? They're making videos about him again. What'd I tell you? I don't want to hear it. Because I don't. I don't like people like saying football. I'm a Seahawks fan, diehard Seahawks fan, always loved them. 12th man, whoop whoop, loudest fans in the world. That's why I'm so loud. I'm from Seattle, represent. But guess what? Seahawks, always been a fan. Used to like the 49ers when I was young, but really the Seahawks have always been my team, right? So when they went to the Super Bowl, we saw all sorts of bandwagon fans. Never liked Seahawks before in their life, till they went to the Super Bowl. Then everybody loves Russell Wilson. Everybody loves Tavares Jackson, right? But the same thing with Bitcoin, and it's gonna be with my channel too, watch. And with these other channels talking about Elon Musk, I knew they would talk about him. They jump on the bandwagon when it's profitable to them in their videos. I have nothing against these guys. BitBoy, great guy. Uh, good Christian man. I hope him all the success in the world on BitBoy Crypto. But guess what? I'm coming for that number one spot. All right. Wait till my equipment gets better. Wait till I have all the equipment to make a little row of stuff right here to tell you everything I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I'm going to have a TJ over there. Probably name will be JR. We'll have a JR over there instead of a TJ. And we will blow up. We're going to be the biggest channel in all the interwebs. Even bigger than BitBoy Crypto. But to do that, I need your help. If you guys want an alternative to BitBoy Crypto, somebody that is dramatic, somebody that speaks from the heart, somebody that is invested in the community as much as the community is invested in me, which means whatever you put into my channel, I will give back a million times back to you. So this is a give and take relationship. That's why it works with us. That's why you guys keep coming back. That's why I keep making videos because it's a give and take thing. And that's why our relationship on YouTube works right now because we are giving and taking. I give, you give, we take, we take, boom. When it's actually just us giving, and all the taking comes later when we have all the fans when my loyal subscribers are like yeah i was with bitcoin renegade day one day one son we ain't we ain't we ain't following bitboy to two million we're following bitcoin renegade to three million i will be the first crypto channel to have three million subscribers that's the goal i want to be the biggest crypto channel so what i'm gonna have to do is get better equipment I'm gonna need a team of people, and I'm gonna need some awesome sponsors. So everything else we got going on, I have a roadmap for the channel to get us to 100,000 subscribers, and it is a legitimate roadmap that can get us there. 
Now, if you guys believe in me and help me get the, us there, then that's how it's going to happen. The only way that I'm going to get bigger than BitBoy Crypto is if you guys share my videos, you like the videos, and then guess what? I'm giving away thousands and thousands of dollars. So I'm probably going to do a giveaway after the thousand at like a 25,000 subscriber, maybe even 5,000. Well, I'm not sure yet how that's going to work. It depends on how fast you help me grow. Now, if we do one at 1,000 and then 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, 50,000, and then the 100,000, $6,000 giveaway, it's going to be amazing. So what I wanted to talk about to you guys in this video is Bitcoin. And I want to just be like, what is going on, Bitcoin? Why are you doing this to us? Like I said earlier, you're breaking my heart. Why did you leave me? Why did you take half of my money? I'm so upset with you. Um, I gave you everything. I gave you my life. And all you did is take half of my money. <laughs> this is so funny. It sounds like I'm divorcing Bitcoin. <laughs> But it did. It took half of my money. It was just at 64000 like two months ago. And that's at thirty two. I feel like I got divorced and Bitcoin took half of my money. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's, a, that's awesome. I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys. <laughs> you got to see my second divorce in person. I, me and Bitcoin are now divorced. All right. We're trying to reconcile. We're actually only separated. We're not divorced yet. So I'll let you know how that works. If she gives me back my money, we will stay married. Now, if she takes all my money, Bitcoin, ma'am, please don't take all my money. I will get counseling. We can make this work. I definitely believe in you. I think you're very pretty. You're very smart. <laughs> Look at all your curves. I like those curves. Look at those. I like it more when you curve upwards, but you know, I do like your Bitcoin curves. So. Bitcoin now is a woman. If Bitcoin was a woman, what would she look like? <laughs> that should be a meme. Uh, I'm going to put that on Twitter. If Bitcoin was a woman, what would she look like? And then I want to see what you guys think that a Bitcoin woman would look like. <laughs> and then you got to make her Bitcoin husband too. So there you go. Uh, so look at this. Um, we're having like M after M after M after M. And what that means is that the bears and the bulls cannot make up their mind, which is good. I'm in a way. So when I say it's good, it's for this reason. So I'm saying it's good because we are not breaking below our $28,000 800 level. And when it bounces back and forth like this, it's going to break one way or the other. And hopefully it breaks to the upside, especially the reason that I think that it's not going to break down below 28,800 is because of all the institutional investment in Bitcoin. So the retail is what got us up to 64,000, but the institutions are the reason that we're sitting between 30 and 40,000 right now, hundred percent. Tesla bought in at $33,500. So he already made $200 million off of that. Now he is sitting almost broke even. He's a thousand dollars less on each Bitcoin than broke even. So he's still in the profit with the Bitcoin that he sold and what he has now. But with the charts continually looking like this and um, me not seeing a clear, you know, indicator of what is going on here um, <clears throat> when it comes to the charts, and exactly what is going on with Bitcoin. You know, it's kind of irritating. I know you're probably just as irritated as I am. Unless you're a bear, then you're hoping Bitcoin goes down to 20,000. And that's what we're going to call this video. Bitcoin to 20,000 or back to 40. So that is what it is. I don't believe Bitcoin is going to go to 20,000. Uh, if you know me, you know that I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. Um, very bullish. So, but I'm not going to lie to you. If I see the market going down and I see that you could lose a lot of money, I won't tell you to buy Bitcoin right now. Um, it's always good to stack your Satoshis. Anything under $50,000, stack up them Satoshis. Anything over $50,000, be cautious. Now, I told you that even when Bitcoin went up to 64000 So, I told you to be cautious. Un anything under 50000 is a good buy. And I'm going to stick to that. I always will. I know we're quite a bit below 50,000 right now, but that's okay. Because we are going to have a giant rally at the end of the summer, the beginning of fall. 
So, and then once we hit around winter time, oh man, we are gonna have a, so the thing is we have crypto winter in the summertime and we're gonna have a crypto summer in the winter time. You know, that's how it was in 2017. If we follow the same trajectory, which we have been this cycle, except only better, then we're gonna see a new all time high. And we're gonna see Bitcoin at least reach $80,000. If not, still my $112,000 Bitcoin prediction. That is still my prediction. I still think Bitcoin can go to a million dollars like Satoshi Nakamoto had designed it to do where one Satoshi equals one penny and a hundred Satoshis equals one dollar. So that is the original design for Bitcoin. And when I said it was gonna be stable, it can never actually be stable, stable. It will always have some sort of a volatility, but the volatility will be so low that it basically acts like a stable one million dollar Bitcoin. You know, it might go from like 990,000 to 1.1 million or something like that, but it won't move a whole lot. You know, right now that, that seems like a lot, like, you know, 100,000, you know, in each direction, but that's not, not what it's gonna be. You know, um, it's probably not gonna move that much even. So um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my relationship with Bitcoin and how she's treated me, how she divorced me, what um, evil things that you know she did to take my money. And but guess what? We're still in the profit. We have a an ascending wedge. I always do that. We have a an ascending wedge. <laughs> So that's what we have right here is an ascending wedge and hopefully it breaks to the upside But these are notorious for breaking to the downside. Look how much action we have going from top to bottom here though Oh my goodness Look at all that action we have. So this could turn out to be really good or really bad um, It all depends on which way it breaks out, right? I hate that, right? Oh, it could go up or it could go down That's the thing with technical analysis. It could do either thing, right? But most likely this is gonna break to the upside It does look like it has downward pressure right now. So the chances of it breaking to the downside I say are about 30% um, I say it's a 70% that we will just bounce off of support here and retest our um, downward sloping resistance line so hopefully we can break through that if we can break that barrier get past like the $36,000 level then we have resistance at 40,000 42,000 again and if we can get past those two levels right there we can see you know our crypto summer continue our bull rally continue all right so that being said you know what time it is Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!